Hey, what's good everyone? Today we're gonna take a quick look at the New Balance M992GR, the 2020 re-release of a pair that originally released in 2006, and we're gonna jump into the details right after the break. So the new Balance M992GR released in January of 2020 and they went like hotcakes. I'm not sure if they all sold out immediately or, or pretty quickly or if some of them also got pulled off the website because I heard some people say that they had quality control issue like Goose and stuff like that. I'm not sure about that but I hope that they're going to be re-releasing soon and I heard that they're going to be releasing in March so keep your eyes peeled for re-release. They might be back in this colorway. Anyway, let's jump right into the materials real quick. There's not much to talk about the materials here because as usual with New Balance, they are impeccable. Of course, you have an all gray shoe here with a gray suede, gray mesh and gray vamp stripes here. Also a gray microfiber tongue and some microfiber hits here at the heel. And only very little of 3M hits, of course, on the New Balance logo at the heel cup on either side of the shoe and at the lacing section. We have a very, very comfortable midsole, I have to admit. I was surprised how comfortable this is. This is white and gray. And uh, because I know the 991, it's not all that comfortable. It's a little bit stiff, but this one is completely different. I'm really surprised. I'm not sure if they have re-engineered the midsole and took some different materials, or if this is subject to the fact that they are using the absorb technology here on the outside of the heel and on the outside of the front foot um, might be, or this is just supposed to aid the rolling movement so that you are not rolling inward if you're walking. I'm not sure about that. If you know that, let me know down in the comment section what this is doing. Also, we have a clear plastic heel support here with New Balance riding on it. And we have a black and gray outsole with just a very, very tiny color hit here in blue and red and I just love stuff like that. Even if you cannot see it, you know it's there. And I, I could imagine if I would see someone sitting somewhere and crossing their legs and I spot this, it's just something special. I don't know what it is, it's just, it's just so subtle and so nice. It's just stuff that I really, really like. Of course, gray and sole here and that's pretty much it. The laces that originally come with the shoe here are super, super long. No idea who's supposed to tie them up all the way like that. And then they, you still have some excessive material. So I'll replace them with very similar laces that we really like. Um, and now it's perfect. Sizing info. The guy who sold it to me went with his normal New Balance size. It was way too big for him. He showed me pictures comparing this to his 991 in the same size. And this was quite a bit longer, actually. He said, this is definitely gonna fit you. I was still skeptical about that, but he sent it over anyway. I tried it and I think it fits great. Sizing wise, I compare this either to a 998 where I size down half a size or a 990 V4 where I'm going true to size and they are almost the same length. So, if you size down half size in your 998 or 997, then do the same. If you're going true to size in all your new balances, then I'd suggest do the same as well. And that's pretty much it for the shoe. So, cannot wait to throw these on feet. So stay tuned for the answer section, which is coming up right now. And I'm gonna see you in a couple of seconds.
So that's it for today with a quick look at the New Balance M992GR. I hope you found this information useful and I hope you liked the video. And let me know what you think about this release down in the comment section. I'm always curious on the feedback and I will see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.